Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've um, brought my toys on the floor because I needed a different angle so we could fit in everything that I wanted to show today. Um, so my friend suggested this to me to get those like snack boxes that you get from overseas and I was like yeah okay sounds cool um, so I went online and I researched a bunch of different ones and decided upon one called Wow Box which is um, Japanese snacks so it arrived in the mail a couple days ago but yes so excited um, I've never had one of these before I haven't even watched like an unboxing video or anything so I don't really know what to expect other than snacks and a good time. Alright. So yeah, so let's get into it and then I'll review these and um, yeah. Okay, so um, I read the pamphlet and it just talks about how it's the rainy season and that's called suyu which means plum rain because um, like the plums blossom or like ripen during this time. Um, so to add a bit of sunshine, they're going to give me a 15% off promo code, um, which I can share with my family and friends until the end of July, so I'll just like include that in the description, so jump on it. Um, I mean, if it's good, like, you'll find out soon. <laughs> and also, apparently, I can find out what's in my box on the website, um, since they've sent it to me now, so it's not like a mystery anymore, so yeah. Um, alright, so there's nine snacks in here and I'm pretty sure that is the small one because I think it's 12 to 15 in the large box. Um, I can't really recall the price, I probably should have looked that up before, but I think this one cost me 25 or something and I'm pretty sure shipping is free as well, so yeah, it's cool. I think this one's like 25 and the large one's like... 30. I know it's like another five dollars, but whatever. It's my first one, so I'm like, mm. um, alright. So yeah, definitely more sweet snacks and savory in here, and like, ah, I just love savory so much more. So, um, yeah, even like the crackers. I suppose maybe you'll count that as sweet as well because they're lemon. It means I only got like two savory. Oh well. Anyway deal with it. Um, so let's get started. I'll start off with savory because you know it's like start with dinner and with dessert. Um, it's gonna have two dinners and like seven dessert. Alright so starting with this one which is Kari Kari. No. Kari Seku. Oishi. Okay. Yeah no idea. Sorry guys. Um, Sukon. It's like this is definitely the flavor here. But, Buyabes. I'm like, Buyabes, but I feel like that's meant to be Bulabes or something, which I think is that French word. I don't know. <laughs> I'll just have to look into that. But, um, yeah. Yeah, there's no English on the packet or anything, so, you know, which is fine. They ship all over the world, so, you know, can't be biased. Okay, so. So, well, they look like twisties, and they kind of smell like um like the prawn cracker snacks, I guess. Um, yeah, look, hundred percent like twisties. So it's definitely corn in here. Yeah, and then you can see like little bits of um like green seasoning flavoring on that as well. So I don't know what bulu is meant to taste like, but I guess seafood. even expecting this kind of flavor um damn yeah these are delicious hmm. so it doesn't have like a fishy taste or anything but you definitely would know it's a seafood flavor that you're chucking in also it's not saturated with um flavoring like twisties i guess um which is nice I don't know how else to describe these, they're just really delicious. <laughs> um, yeah. 
I know what else to say about them. They're like better than prawn cracker chips. I know, I feel like my soul has been awakened to seafood chips, like this is the best kind of seafood flavoured chip I've had. I don't know, something about them is freaking amazing. <laughs> and then, I don't know if it's just because I haven't eaten in a long, long, long time and this is the first thing I put in my mouth. But these are delicious, <laughs> okay? So, okay, enough of that. You know they're good. You know they taste like seafood. We shall move on. Um, to the bacon ones, which I'm super excited for. I think the only other bacon, artificial bacon thing I've tried is maybe bacon shapes. Um, shapes is like this little baked like cracker that we get in Australia. So I, I don't know. I don't think they sell shapes in other countries. Yeah. But anyway, bacon and mayo. So we'll see if the mayo actually like can be tasted, have any impact on that. Just gotta rip this down the side. Oh, I got like a bacon whiff as I open that. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh, that smells like like smoked ham. Like you've got a barbecue. You've put a leg of ham on there, and it's Christmas, and you're basting it. Oh my god, that's what it smells like. Okay. They just look like little crinkly roof piles. It smells so good and then there's like just this mild tang which I can totally see as the mayo like the Japanese mayonnaise because I'm gonna assume that's the mayo they're putting here ah oh, that smells good <laughs> so good all right so yeah that's what I mean by the little roof tiles mm. yeah 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 Flavor, I'd say, whatever the chip is made out of, something puffy. So it's either corn or it's rice, but I think that flavor overpowers the actual seasoning on these. Um, so I actually taste the mayonnaise more than I taste the bacon. Um, mm. Mm. Kind of tastes like you like bit into a burger or um oh like if you had takoyaki but it had bacon in the center or something it's kind of what it tastes like it's not bad but i was expecting i guess something saltier i don't know i don't know how to feel about these this feel more like just mayonnaise like rice crisps or something mm. yeah not too strong on the bacon Bit disappointed, I guess. Uh, next, we're gonna go to the lemon ones. Uh, Alright, so these are actually all individually packaged as well. Um, so, ah, uh, it's just like this really strong aroma of lemon. Um, just like lemon tart, lemon meringue. So good. So fresh. And yeah, you get um, four little ones in a pack. They're really thin. Like, Oh, oh, oh. No, you see me. No, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> um. oh. mm. Yeah, sugar crystals on the top. Nicely baked, and there's also a little bit of um, salt in there. Mm. They're really enjoyable light snack, I guess. But. Compared to the smell of the lemon, it doesn't actually have um, a strong taste of lemon. There's like no tang. It's all just... I think the strongest flavour in it is um, the salt really. It's like the salt just kind of on the back of your tongue. You get the crisp of the biscuit and then just the aroma of lemon but no taste of lemon. Yeah, so not bad. Nothing outstanding I guess. They're just kind of, you know, biscuits. <laughs> um, easy, simple crackers to eat and enjoy here and there. But they smell amazing, so like they smell incredible. <laughs> um, okay, on to the next one. We'll have 
All right. We'll pineapple cookie it. I mean, from like my Pocky video, you guys probably know, yeah, I'm not really the biggest fan of artificial um, fruit flavors, but you know, here we are. So, yeah. But I can't deny these biscuits are freaking cute, man. Like, they're so small. <laughs> they're just itty bitty things. So small. So cute, the detail. And it's just got like, the thinnest little bit of um, pineapple cream in there. It smells like pineapple, it smells like pineapple lollies, which doesn't excite me. <laughs> but yeah. Mm. 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 They packed a lot of. Um, pineapple flavor into this cream actually. I mean there's hardly any cream on there but you had a really strong hit. Yeah definitely the artificial pineapple flavor so um if you like pineapple like jellies and candy like that you'll definitely like these. The cookie part themselves really buttery. It's really nice. Um yeah actually I don't know something about these I'm really into even though it has that artificial pineapple Actually, it reminds me sort of like those Taiwanese pineapple cakes, which is like the shortbread pastry, something on the outside, and then, um, yeah, like the pineapple marmalade stuff on the inside. Reminds me of that. Hmm. Ooh, not bad. Yeah. And the cookie, really buttery. It's really enjoyable. Um, hmm. And they're so small. Oh. That was a good snack. That was a good snack probably easy like because I mean I know sometimes you eat biscuits and you're like oh maybe I'll have like two or three and then you're like getting through the third one you're like no it's too much biscuit oh, what have I done um, maybe that's just me <laughs> anyway all right so I'm finally moving on to these things which I will still call a protein bar even though they definitely like won't be but it's funny I feel like the most skeptical about these but I feel like they're probably just going to taste like freaking amazing or something. So let's find out. We have two of them, supposedly. I wonder if that was like an accident. I don't know. It's my first box I ever got. Alright, so I can see from it that it's chocolate um, because there's a bit of discoloration. So I think it's just when this stuff travels, it gets discolored. Um, just looks like some kind of rice puff bar that's like covered in chocolate. Just smells like chocolate, you know. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I thought those might have been rice puffs, but tastes like corn. Something, something. It's like, I know that Noah probably means and, so it's, maybe it's like rice and corn center. Yeah, um, very interesting. They taste like, honestly they just taste like, um, you're eating popcorn and then, and then you got chocolate in there. <laughs> Which I think is meant to be very popular. Um, and I really saw the like benefit. I mean, like I've chucked Maltesers and popcorn before, and I'm kind of like, yeah, nah. So this is okay. I know it's weird. It's like you're eating some kind of savory, like rice bar, like puffy rice bar snack. Um, which I don't know if you guys know this. This. Korean one, which is like a long log, and it's just literally like rice puffs somehow glued together, and then you just eat it. It's really bland, but um, it's kind of tastes like that, and then it's got chocolate around it. So, um, uh, I don't know. It's it's alright. It's a bit strange. I mean, I wouldn't really want to eat it again, and now I've got two of them, so like, well, one and a half. Um, but they're very small, so I mean, even though. 
And the bag is quite long. It's like that much is actually in there. Out of that. So, don't you. Uh, anyway. Yeah, that's... it's okay. Alright, so next we're going to go to these biscuits. Suica Choco Chips. I wonder, oh well, the packaging I just noticed is like watermelon, oh sorry, it's like watermelon skin, so maybe it's watermelon. Oh my god, I know what watermelon is in Japanese, so. Watermelon cookies, that would blow my mind. And chocolate chip as well. Alright, smells like watermelon. Just smells like um, watermelon lip gloss that you get from the body shop, <laughs> which I grew up using, so it's just memories floating back. So that's about it. Um, okay, so they really small, really cute. Just got some chocolate chips in there. Mm. Got a really strong um, watermelon flavor. Not actually the taste, but just the aroma of watermelon. Mm. Not that great. Yeah, I mean, cooking itself, like texture-wise and everything, is actually pretty good. It's just the watermelon part of this that makes it bad. So, um, yeah, not, not too fond of these, no. <laughs> nah. All I can think of is that lip gloss, like, that's just all it kind of tastes like to me. Yeah, so... So, okay, I'm gonna have the kiwi fruit one next. So, kiwi fruit and yogurt um, gummies. So, I think this will probably actually be pretty, pretty good. Also, it's in like a Ziploc um, packet, which is pretty handy, I guess. Um, let's just open this. Alright. So yeah, all stuck together. Kind of just look like um, those strawberries and cream gummies, which is also in Australia. I don't know what food other countries really have, like candy-wise, but so it's that green on the top, yogurt on the bottom. Smells like yogurt and kiwi fruit. Ugh, yeah, just don't really like kiwi fruit, but. The yogurt, the yogurt was, I don't know, a bit like off-putting, I mean, it was kind of okay first bite, and then as you chew more through it, it's like, imagine you go to the supermarket and you get the sweetest yogurt there is, and you have that, and then you mix it with the most sour kiwi fruit, it's kind of like that, it's just... A whole lot of nah. <laughs> like, nah. Oh no. <laughs> I'm giving this to someone. Who, who will probably like them. I just, yeah. I don't like kiwi fruit. I don't know if that impacts my distaste for this snack. But very sour. And I mean, actually, I normally like sour stuff. So maybe it is just the kiwi fruit. Just, nah. And the yogurt was like, nah. No dough. No. Nah! Anyway, alright, so final snack, which I don't know what it is, but it looks like a liquid center. I don't know if I can crack through these or if I'm meant to suck on them, so if I've got to crack through then. Good luck to us. Um, just tear this box. Ah, satisfying. <clears throat> uh, okay, it said number one something in Japanese, number two something in Japanese. So I think maybe this is some kind of special instructions for getting these out. But I don't know Japanese, so... Oh wait. Eh? What? 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 Does this stop you from pushing the thing out? I wouldn't think so. Okay. 
I don't know, but it's pointing. There's a white bit pointing down. <laughs> Uh, I'm probably screwing this up. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so cool. Wait, this is like a barrel picture here. And then it's got some kind of cutout on it, so. Okay, so I think number two is just slide it out. And then number three is this. Oh my god. Yeah. <clears throat> and then voila, candy. So yeah, so I think after that you just close this up and you slide it back in. And then your candy's all protected. Which is really cool. I always like Japanese packaging. They're so smart. Yeah. So cool. Damn, that's so trippy. Ah, oh, so fun. And there's pirates on there too. Um, anyway, so... Can't really smell anything. Maybe it's like some kind of minty something. After dinner mint. But yeah, it's just like powdery texture. Very hard. Could not crack this. Oh yeah, it probably is something that I have to eat for a long time. Um, the flavor tastes like gum stoppers. Mm hmm. Look at this guy breathing you out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what flavor is meant to be. I'm cracking through it. It's like bubble gum. Mm hmm. Good sour. I know what flavor this is meant to be. Oh, super sour hit, but not gross like the kiwi one. Yeah, I don't know if you're actually meant to bite and chew these. Have you meant to suck on them until like the center of it? Um. Yeah, very sour in the middle, and then outside tastes like up stuff is, but, um, fun and enjoyable. Actually, yeah, I will enjoy these. Our packaging so cool, man. So cool. Alright, so I'll put those back in. <clears throat> and then we shall get to our final, um, thoughts. So, I'm just gonna rank these. Um, and then I'll give some overall thoughts on Wowbox. Um, so... Alright, kiwi fruit, worst one. Ugh, yuck, no. Second worst one, the watermelon. Nah, gross. Um... The corn and rice puff covered in chocolate. That was kind of like, alright, but those whatever. Like, meh. They didn't impress me much. Um, so yeah, those third last. Um, everything else I actually did enjoy so uh, I'm gonna put these bacon mayo ones just because I didn't really taste like bacon so it's a bit disappointing um but if you like mayonnaise flavored chips then ooh, like come here so, oh this smells so good why why um next will be the lemon cookies I mean you know <clears throat> Nice and pleasant biscuits didn't actually have a lemon flavor, just lemon aroma when you ate them, but eee, they're okay. They're just one of those like whatever snacks that you'll have, I guess. Um, and then the pineapple ones, these are nice, even though it does have the artificial pineapple taste. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed these and the cookie, yeah, really buttery, but it was great, yeah. Um, that was good. And then finally. <coughs> Number one, hands down, this, um, we, we are this. Anyway, these, like, seafood, um, twisties. <laughs> Freaking delicious. Oh, man, it's so good. I would totally buy these if they sold them in Australia. Um, delicious, man. Cannot go wrong. These are great. Uh, yeah. 